Well, hello everybody, it's Rose, and I just got a delivery of a diamond painting. It is a Sunday afternoon, so I'm a little bit surprised, but here it is. Oh, and uh, I forgot to black out my address, so let me do that right now. There we go. Okay. And yeah, no other information on there. Okay, so um, I think I know which one it is, but just because there's been so much that's been held up, I uh, will wait to open it. Um, just because there's there's so much, so many packages that are with Canada Custom, uh, that are with Canada Post here in Ottawa right now, uh, waiting for delivery. I don't know which one of them this is. Like I say, I think I know. And if it's not that one, well, it'll be a big surprise. Okay, so I'm not sure if all of this is in frame or not. Um, but, wow, this is very well taped. I'll give them that. I want to save the bubble wrap in case I want to use it for other gifts and things like that over the holidays. So I just don't want to be ripping into it too, too much. Side that it's a 40 by it doesn't say but I measured it and it's 60 in, uh, 60 centimeters wide oh but that's diamonds there so I do think I know which one this is because I was thinking maybe it's not what I thought because uh, it seems bigger but I, the diamonds are on the end here so I think it's going to be what I call butterfly shell. girl. It's another one that I've been waiting uh, with bated breath for. Okay, so this, okay, underneath here is my baby boy blue, and so I just I want to make sure I'm not uh, being too rough on him. This is my work surface. It's too dark to be shooting on my coffee table or my counter right now. I can set up light here better. Alright, so I have been eagerly awaiting this painting. Alright, so here I have the toolkit, accessory kit, whatever. Is not too worried about ripping into it because I'm not going to be reusing this little bit of bubble wrap. Okay. Oh, I have two tool kits so that I could diamond paint with a friend if I wanted to. Um, okay, so they look to be standard kits. There's the um, diamond tray with the opening. I guess they call these boats. Uh, there's a regular diamond. Uh, Drill pen, uh, no multi-placer, nope, no multi-placer, and then there's also the bent tweezers. So, um, so two sets, and there's a, I don't know, it looks like about five or six uh, plastic bags inside as well. So there we go, another set of tools. Um, I think I don't need to use my scissors anymore, but just in case, I'm not sure how this is. Okay, that's just more garbage. Ooh, look at that. 
All right, we're going to keep that uh, hidden for a little bit. All right. Um, what it looks like, so, okay, so this is, it's called The Lady with a Fan, and it's a Gustav Klimt print. I'll turn that off, just one sec. Um, okay, so it's a Gust uh, Gustav Klimt pin uh, print, and uh, it is 60 by 80 centimeters. Um, I am really into Gustav Klimt, and this actually was one that my stepmother had indicated that she liked. She was going to buy a print for her wall of it, and, uh, and I said, oh, I might be able to do a diamond painting for you. So anyway, we were looking into that, and then she decided she wanted to go ahead and uh, just buy the print anyway. But by then, I had fallen in love with the idea of doing this diamond painting. So I figured I'll buy it for me. So we'll see uh, if if my stepmom decides she wants it, then I will be more than happy to give it to her. But uh, I'll also be more than happy to do it and. Uh, put it up somewhere in my place as well, um, if, if she doesn't. I'm sure I can find a place for it, but, uh, but it would be great if she liked it. Um, but no pressure, I just want to make sure you know that. Uh, I don't think that the sparkle of the diamond painting might be uh, the look that my stepmom is going for, which is fine. Um, and so, no, there are, are absolutely no hard feelings if it's something that, uh, that she would not want to put up in her home. So, all right, I'm trying to figure out how this works. I can feel some tape or something here. Hmm. Well, it's well wrapped, let's say that, and there's a nice foam core on it as well. Um, what is this? I think it's sticky. Oh, okay, it's one of those cellophane bags, but I think what they did was cut it open. Or it's a different kind of cellophane wrap anyway. Oh, I like that stuff. Oh, I'm going to keep this. Because what I've been doing when I travel with diamond paintings is uh, I wrap saran wrap around them. Cling wrap, whatever you want to call it. And, um, of course, that sticks to itself like crazy. So you can use it once. But this might be just what I need for my paintings that I'm taking on the cruise. And yes, I'm taking paintings on the cruise because I can never get enough. Hopefully, I will be having way too much fun on the cruise to actually do a whole bunch of diamond paintings. But uh, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if, um, if I had time while sitting on deck to do a few. That would be a pretty cool way of spending time. So, and I think there's one more here. Boy, oh boy, they did a really nice job of protecting this. Between the foam core and all the wrapping and the bubble wrap. Okay, so there's the canvas out, but I haven't yet given you the details about this thing. So let me just get my log book. I'll get rid of the cellophane. I don't need scissors anymore. I'll be right back. Okay, last one of these unboxings that I did, I read the wrong information. So this is the lady with the fan. Klimt lady with fan. 60 by 80 square. Um, 
AliExpress, and it's the Cuff W Key Store, um, official store. I'll put all of this information on um, a slide right here. I ordered it on October 23rd, received it today, December 2nd. Uh, it was $53.66 Canadian, and um, I got a discount, so I paid $49.69 Canadian. So this status changes to ready. Well, I'm not sure the status changes to ready until I do the inventory. So let's take a look at this canvas. Okay, the canvas has been cut. Oh, pretty colors, pretty, pretty colors. Canvas has been cut uh, down, the, uh, not the canvas, the cover sheet has been cut down the middle. Got a nice big thick foam core in there. I saved those. Um, all right. This is in frame, so I want to make sure I'm not going to lay this paper down crooked. So I want to be careful pulling it up for the first time and make sure I'm not lifting any adhesive up. Alright, so here's the bottom of the painting. Beautiful, clear symbols. Really, really clear. I don't have my light uh, pad on, but that's very, very clear. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I see a G. Let me just make sure there's nothing around the G that could be confused with that, because one time there, one time I had a C and an O, and they were all sort of in the same color. Um, family, and so between the C, the O, and the G, I had a nightmare. Okay, this is good. And they use zero instead of O, so um, so that's good. That's a nice, heavy canvas. It's quite pliable. Um, not as stiff as some, not as soft as some others. Um, Feels less papery, maybe a little bit more plasticky than this Evermoment canvas that I'm working on right now. Um, okay, the glue. There's, I don't know, maybe about two millimeters of glue extending onto this edge of the, uh, past the drill space. And down here about a centimeter of glue, although it's kind of raggedy. So it gets, it's about a centimeter up there and about half a centimeter of glue here. Um, I'll probably be able, yeah, I'll be able to, um, to use the X-Acto knife to score that and just lift the glue that I don't want on the edge instead of, uh, again, as many of you will know by now, I'm not a huge fan of washi tape. Okay. Let me look at the other portion here. Oh, I'm so excited. Very nice. Okay, so the glue extends just exactly to the edge of the drill space here. Like there's no margin for error. And then here, starting right here, it's about a millimeter, two millimeters. And then it gets a little bit wider as we approach the middle of the painting. And on the edge here, about three quarters of a centimeter extends beyond the painting. I'm not fussed if it extends beyond the painting. I would hate, and I've never seen it happen, but I sure would hate if it ever didn't extend to the edge. But that's not an issue here. 
glue's nice and sticky. And again, that's that's nice. I'll show you more of the painting uh, as I turn it and lift it the other way. And this is oriented more or less so that you'll be able to see it um, top to bottom, I think. So let me just make sure that it's in frame. Yeah, you'll be able to see most of it. It's a little too big for you to be able to see all of it, but it's, that's pretty good. Okay, all right. Wow, the symbols are so very, very clear. And pretty colors. There's a lot of number seven, which I bet is a, oh, it's an 820. Okay, there's no 550. I thought it was a 550. But uh, it's a different, it's a different shade of purple. Okay, I'm not going to take it any further back than that, because I think you'll get the, the sense. Again, the glue is it's about a, a centimeter on this edge, about a centimeter on this piece of glue all the way to here. And then here, the, cent, uh, the glue is right to the edge of, well, just beyond the edge of the drill surface. And... Um, and just, I don't know, maybe half a centimeter up beyond the drill surface on this edge. So there we have her. She's got that beautiful, beautiful background going on. You see why it's no hardship if, uh, if my stepmom doesn't want this? If she does, I will be absolutely delighted because it would make me so happy to see it in their house. But... Um, but if she if she doesn't, that's cool. Uh, it's a it's a Klimt, and I adore Klimt. Okay, I'm stepping back. I'm I'm sort of beside the camera, and that looks really pretty. And there's not a single drill on there yet. So yeah, you see her fan, and she's wearing this you know the beautiful Klimt colors and all of that stuff. Looks like lotuses. And this beautiful bird here. All right. This is going to be really nice to do. Really, really nice to do. Now, let me cover her up again. Excellent. No gaps. Last one I opened, I had a big, not a big gap, but a millimeter and a half or two millimeter gap uh, in the strips here. And it took me a while to uh, straighten it out, so that's not an issue this time. Okay, this is beautiful, and look at this canvas. There is nothing wrong with this. Oh, I forgot to look for rivers. But the fact that I didn't notice any rivers tells me there are no rivers. There's no anything. This canvas is completely flat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is beautiful. Um, let me see this side. I will include the link to the item on AliExpress so that uh, if there's anybody else who wants to order it, you can go ahead. Okay, but I'm, I'm really happy with this. Okay, and let's just take a look at the back of this canvas. Look at that. Oops, I didn't put the paper on right. She's better. 
here. And it is. Okay, look at that canvas. There's nothing wrong with this canvas. Nothing, nothing. There's a few bubbles, but that's because I didn't lay the paper down perfectly flat, so the bubbles are my fault. And I'm just straightening them out right now and, and problem solved. Look at that canvas. It's, it's as perfect as perfect can be. And a little tiny bit of ruffling across the, back, the side here. Uh, that's just from the edges of the package. That doesn't even touch the, uh, the drill area. So that is absolutely not an issue. Okay, beautiful canvas. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna pause while I do an inventory and I will report back to you after the inventory. Oh, I will show you the um, legend. Yeah, I, can see, I think you can see that here. Let me see. I'm trying to hold it up. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see that. I'll put a picture up. Okay, so pausing you for a Okay, everybody. So I'm back. I have finished the inventory. And um, let me just check. Uh, the red is... The red is what I've marked. And it looks like everything is there. Everything's there. I didn't have any extras. I didn't have any shorts. And uh, there were no loose drills. Um, there are 43 colors all together. Uh, again, maybe you can... It looks like the two colors that are going to be most prevalent are 939. I've got 44 bags of that. And... 976 uh, it's like a caramel color and I've got 55 bags of that there are 35 bags of 782 which is sort of a, a darker caramel so um, so yeah that's that's for that beautiful background that we've got there so I think this one's gonna be really great to do um, as I was counting the packages um, I was looking to see whether I saw any concave drills, any drills that looked broken or misshapen, any little tabs on the end. I call them hanging chads. I know they're not hanging chads, but I just like that. Um, they look good. I didn't see anything that looked like it might be oily drills. Um, just look at those colors. I mean, aren't they just beautiful? Look at that brilliant orange there. Whoops! I mean, look at some of these. There are amazing greens and teals and, oh, just gorgeous. Um, so I'm really looking forward to doing this. I'm looking forward to doing them all. Don't I say that at the end of every single one of my videos? I'm so looking forward to starting this. Well, I am. Um, so I'm just going to fill in the information on this. So it's Klimt, lady with fan, um, AliExpress. I gotta copy the name of the store because it's just a bunch of letters all together. Uh, it is the Cuff Cuff W Key Official Store. I paid. $49.69. It is 60 by 80. I didn't do that on camera, but I did measure it uh, while I 
just before I started counting the drills. Uh, so the size is as advertised. Um, it was ordered October 23, delivered December 2nd. And I can tell you that most of that time it was in Canada. I'm just going to check the traffic tracking app. Lady with fan. So that's been um, in process for 39 days. Uh, the logistics order was created the 24th of October. Um, acceptance center on October 25th. See. Air transport on October 27th, and it has not been updated since it came. No, nope, it has. Let me just see if it's updated yet. Um, it's not been updated since it came to Canada. Uh, I don't think it went through Canada Post because there was no Canada Post sticker on it. So I, I don't know where it's been for the last however many days, but um, I think it's been in Canada for probably three weeks and just held up because of the postal strike. So yeah, I've got uh, 14 others. I can, I can now mark this one as delivered today. And I'll archive it so that it won't be on my list as, anymore. Okay, so that's it. It's done. All right, so now I've got a whole bunch of others that are uh, in, in Canada. And so by the time I get back from my cruise for sure, I am going to have so many unboxings to do. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, it makes me very happy. Um, and partly that's because I figure you wouldn't subscribe if I wasn't in some small way making you happy. So, uh, so thank you. And, um, and if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button because that's always nice. And it gives me a little bit of feedback uh, that, uh, that helps me to be motivated to keep doing this stuff for you. Okay, so thanks. Have a great evening, great day, whatever it is. And uh, I hope everything that's going on with you is glorious. Take care now. Bye-bye. Until next time.